a while ago, somebody asked to me, should, DevOps, uh, should developers and testers really work together closely? Wouldn't that lead to a risk of not having enough diversity, of, you know, everybody kind of having agreed on a perspective and there not being enough diversity to spot mistakes that are maybe, you know, that, that would be difficult to spot. A while ago, somebody asked me the question of whether it's actually good for developers and testers, for example, to work together closely, or whether that led to the risk of them not having enough diversity of perspective. Because like everybody sticks together all the time, um, and they might miss important things. I think it's a reasonable worry, but I think it is... Uh, um, but I think this worry is uh, a lot smaller than, or this problem is a lot smaller than the one where developers and testers don't work together closely enough. Um, they don't share a perspective, they don't share communication, they don't have trust. So I see what you're saying, that there is value in, in diversity to some degree, but I think there is a lot more value to having trust, being uh, working together closely, um, having shared understanding. And then you can still rely on, you know, four eyes see more than two. Uh, you can rely on your customers telling you where you're going wrong if you've done it right, and you've got enough and powerful enough feedback loops. So I say, instead of erecting walls between devs and testers for the sake of some imagined advantage in terms of quality, break down that wall. Actually, let me erase it. There we go. And Put those people as closely together as you can so that they can work together to ensure a high quality of whatever it is that they're building. 